Welcome to your market update and charts of the day. It's 24th of April 2024. Max Smith, senior analyst at Go Markets to lead you around what's happening in the Asian session today. And of course, we've had some significant news across the wires relating to Australian inflation, and it's not good. But overnight, of course, we saw a positive session in the US. Earnings helped a rebound of market sentiment. The Middle East situation will obviously continue to be watched, but earnings continuing and the PCE data at the end of the week will be important in terms of ongoing sentiment. US futures slightly positive in trading today. Asian markets generally extended the last two days of gains and followed the US lead. The ASX started the day fairly positively up around about half a percent but has given up all gains subsequent to that CPI number coming out uh, which was slightly warmer than expected. European futures pointing to a positive open later this afternoon. The US dollar index drops through a tight range, soft again in Asia today, significant drop in gold yesterday, which halted at 2300, tested that and then bounced overnight to back up to around about 2320, but still not a very good start to the week for gold, of course. Copper pulled back as well from two year highs and all held support and bounced in the US session. Bitcoin bounce pauses, but up in Asia, iron 70,000 again. Uh, earnings in focus, we've got AT&T, IBM, Boeing, Ford and Meta tonight. So quite a big session. The Australian CPI number is going to be positive for the AUD going forward, but negative for the ASX, of course. And we've got US durable goods later. US GDP, weekly jobs and PCE are the highlights on Thursday and Friday. A couple of charts at Core RI today. Of course, it's worth looking at the Australian dollar crosses, and you can see there the impact of that inflation data on the Aussie yen on the 30 minute chart. So, in that candle there, it pushed us up around about 50 pips in the space of 30 minutes, up to the R2 level at, at just below 101. Looks as though the buyers are still in. If it does breach this, then there's a 40 pip move to the upside, which is interesting. Context is important. If we put this on a monthly chart, uh, you can just see there that this level at around about 101 is really important historically. I haven't hit this level now since 2014. So this move is significant. On the ASX, we're interested in blocking or SQ2. Uh, we've had this bounce off the support at around about 110. And you can see us back up in today's session at this 116 level which looks important you can see there was price action around here previously and back here in the back end of december last year so if we breach this 117 we could see us back up to 129 which was the high that we hit late march uh, so that's one to keep an eye on to see if we can push through 117 trade safe and see you again soon Bye-bye for now.